Hello everybody and welcome back to another part of Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. DS. I'm Gamer Pimp and we are back. And this is World 5. And, and, and pretty much World 5 is the ice area of the game. I'm, it's, you know, it's the ice area of the game. Pretty much just like um Super Mario Bros. 3, I think. Because I haven't played this because I, I, I actually haven't played Super Mario Bros. 3 completely yet. Because I'm pretty much done World 2. World 2. I haven't been playing that game that much. Probably start playing it tomorrow. I mean today, later today. But anyway, look at the background, look the trees, and well, yeah, there's snow, and yep, that's the new enemy. There was a new enemy um, in this level, and, and it is these weird um, um snowball throwing guys. Watch out for them because you have to watch out for them because they can okay, take those snowballs at you, and they hurt, of course. Snowballs hurt, I'm guessing. I haven't, I haven't really been hit by actual snowballs, especially a giant snowball. Haven't been hit by those, but I just struggle to get that star coin. So get that star coin, Mario! Oh my gosh, get the star coin! Yes, we got the star coin, and and um, not yet, not yet, not yet. And just so you know, there is some like um some snow on the ground, like deep snow, like right there, like right there, snow, deep snow. So if we jump on those, we have to make sure you get out, especially there's an enemy close by, because because it's gonna hurt you if you stay in there and get hit by the enemy on purpose. So. Of course, everything hurts you in this game pretty much. Well, not every single thing. But you know, all the enemies, all browsers, minions, and I got all three star coins, so yeah, that's good. Anyway, I do kind of speed run on that part, and I dodged the falling snow from the trees. Watch out for those falling snow. Yeah, you have to watch out for those falling snow from the trees, because those falling snows hurt you. Falling snow hurts. Well, it, 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 well actually, no, they don't hurt you, but they're just um, keeping you on the ground for a little bit, so you might want to get out before an enemy comes and hits you. Didn't like that. Anyway, um, anyway, I do open another path to that area, so you can go there later. I'm gonna go there later though, because well, I want to go to five two instead. This is five two. We are we are pretty much back in the caravans. So here we are in the caravans, and now we, and now we're actually um, I'm introduced to these weird guys who climb on anything. Yeah, they pretty much climb on anything, and to kill them, pretty much just hit them. When they're climbing on the block like that, like right there, I just did right now. Make sure you kill them most of the time because okay, well, they are invincible, and kind of because well, you can't kill them. With, you can't kill them with your fireball, so be careful. Don't touch them. They will destroy you. They will destroy you. Anyway, I do come back to see that. I do come back to see that. Um, oh, never mind. Can okay, we go up here? And anyway, do go back over there so so I can see so, you know so I can get that one up. But probably I waste a little bit of time. And guess what? The one up is gone. It's gone. The one up disappeared. Stupid one up. I didn't tell that one up to disappear yet. It just disappeared. So screw the one up. And we're gonna, and we're gonna continue through the game. And here we are. Um, here we are. We're also introduced to these real guys again. Screw them. Get that star coin. Watch out for those two. Yeah, no one to say anymore. Get the fire flower and. Well, here we are in the caravans. The background, um, okay, though the background of the caravans is pretty different, if you ask me. Well, I, at least I think so. Because, well, oh no! Ah! Because, well, um, come on, start the level. Because, well, look, okay, look. Look at that background, it just looks pretty nice. Oh, you know, if you ask me, the background looks nice because it's like a giant opening, and there's rocks inside there. And the lightning effects for that place looks pretty nice, if you ask me. And yes, I do jump for some reason. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those start. Oh, I just one of those coins. Anyway, here we go. We're gonna get. To Why did I jump on him? Why did I jump on him? Anyway, he's still in the caravans, and I'm and I'm still dying. Oh no! Why am I dying for? What the heck? Why am I dying? I don't know. Oh, and I just lost. It. Okay, what the heck? What the heck? Okay, let's get the fire flower, and we're gonna continue running and not die. And not die this time, and hopefully we won't die this time, because I'm really tired of dying already. But something tells me I'm gonna die because I missed that mushroom, and mu and pretty much missing mushrooms is bad luck. So I'm gonna die. I'm gonna. I'm not die. I, oh wow! I don't die anymore. I guess. Okay. So anyway, so, so anyway, in this part, I mean, in, you know, in this level, we're gonna get through this level. Don't worry, it's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna get through this level, so don't worry. Alright? Because, well, this level is pretty quick. Yeah, I, well, actually, depending on what... Depending on what you're doing to get all the star coins, this level is pretty quick. Unless you die too much, which I'm doing right now, 
you probably won't. You're probably gonna hate this level a lot. So, well, yeah. I'm almost to say about this level, but oh, why do I make the same mistake and jump into the bat for? Hey, look, hey, look, Mario's the bat. Jump into it and die. I wonder why I did that. Oh, anyway, anyway, thank goodness for watching because I could have died there. Thank goodness for watching because I'm pretty sure if it was Super Mario World that that time, I would have died because there's no wall jump in Super Mario World. Though Super Mario World is still a really good game, there's no wall jump. Though I'm kind of okay with that since there wasn't any wall jumps. Um, you know, um, what? What? Ah, uh, anyway, like I was saying before, I'm not really surprised that there isn't any um wall jumps in Super Mario World because um okay because okay because the first game they actually introduced wall jumps was Super Mario 64 I think I'm not sure, but I'm really guessing that Super Mario 64 I think it was the first thing to introduce wall jumps. Or does it even have wall jumps in the game? I'm not even sure because I I've really played much of that game. Anyway, do for to get that mushroom again, well, because I don't know why I didn't get the mushroom, but we are, but we are, but we are still going to, we are still going to continue to do the game. And no, I don't have any items, and don't, and no, I don't, I have, uh, I, I, no, I forgot the the middle star coin, the second star coin. Let's well, screw the star coin, cause I'm not gonna try to get all of them. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna keep on going. Come on, Mario, just keep on going. And finally, and I finally made it through the pipe. So, yes, we finished the level. Not yet, not yet, not yet, no, I for- what? What? Just happened, apparently I forgot to jump, and, well, didn't get the one up, or I didn't get that much score. That was stupid. Anyway, um, anyway, this for I- Okay, anyway, okay, so this for I introduced to these weird hammer bros. Um, yes, okay, it's pretty much how they worked in Mario Bros. 3. But instead, you actually have to face them. Um, you, you actually have to face them. You have to face them. Would you have to? You have to face them when you're going through the level. And no, I died. Anyway, in this game, you have to face them as you're going through the level. But they're only gonna um. Okay, but they're gonna be there in the beginning of the level. So pretty easy to kill. I, well, I, okay, well, at least it looked easy there. But it wasn't easy before. You know, it wasn't easy at all. Though it did look easy there. It wasn't easy at all. Anyway. And anyway, here we are in the ice world of New Super Mario Bros. Just, just look at the background of this place. It looks pretty nice. Oh, oh, and probably forgot to mention something. These, um, these mushrooms appear. Um, the, okay, these mushrooms move around. So, okay, so it really takes like a few seconds for them to grow, and not take a few seconds for them to like to, um, okay, to like not grow, you know, to get shorter. Though I'm gonna take like time in this level, so I'm not gonna try to get everything, of course, because this LP is not a, like a full LP. Because like really, because okay, we really just want a hundred percent game. Because well, it, 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 you know, it, this is gonna take a lot of like a lot of um a lot of scale and stuff. I just really don't want to do that. The, the, the only reason I'm doing LP is because I like to. It's pretty fun. Anyway, we are gonna break these. And well, apparently you can do something a butt stomp with Mario's booty and keep on hitting that thing. So keep on hitting that thing. Mario. Yes, we got a mushroom. And we're gonna continue through the game. And well, yeah, not much to say about. About this anymore, and I get a one up. I get a one up. I'm surprised that I, I'm surprised actually I got a one up there. Okay. Yes, we got a Mario clear, and we're gonna go to the halfway cast, the halfway tower, because well, well there are halfway, and it does look a little like more of a tower, facts made you know than a castle. Anyway, we're going to open another passageway to there, and so we can go to the mushroom house because we're gonna need that later. For when you go to world seven, after world six, yep, yep, that, yep, yep, yes, that's right. There's another hidden world in this game, and that's world seven. We're gonna go there later after world six, and then after world seven is the last world, and we're pretty much almost done with the game. So let's keep on going. And yes, and yes, in this, okay, yes, in this like halfway castle, I mean halfway tower. I'm gonna call it a tower. We, I actually introduced these weird spiky balls again, and we have to face them in battle. So watch out for the spiky balls. Yeah, not much to say about this place anymore. Just watch out for the spiky balls. And yeah, there's another one, and there's two dry bones. So jump with the dry bones and watch out for them. Pretty easy. Watch out for them more. Pretty easy. Huh. So basically, so, so basically, I have to just keep on dodging them. And soon, and soon, this could be something else. And I'm not sure if I die in this part. I don't think I actually die. 
I don't know why I die all of a sudden more, more, more of the time. I actually die most. And for some reason, I was just reckless there. And I decided to grab on the... On the... Uh, oh, the mushroom's gone. <laughs> and we... Um, oh, crap. I do die in this part, so... Might as well just... Oh, no. And we're gonna go back inside the world. And we're gonna face the boss battle. So, here we go. No, not the no, not the boss battle. We're gonna f we're gonna do this crap again. So pretty much you know what to do. Just watch out for them. Don't fail to get hit by them though, because well, it's gonna hurt you. So make sure you don't get hit by them, because of course they're going to hurt you. Pretty easy place if you know what. You it's, it's a pretty easy place if you know what you're doing. But don't. But yeah, you, you also have no fear because those spiky bots actually kill. Um, they can actually kill the dragons completely. No, um, no knocking them in pieces kind of thing, it's just, you know, just pretty much dead for good. Pretty much all you have to do is just keep on jumping over them, and there's a star coin. I missed the first star coin, but I do get the other two in this level, so, well, stay tuned. Oh, crap! Holy crap, Woman's got hit by the, right there. Anyway, here comes the huge one. Here comes the huge one. Here comes the huge one. Who, um, you know, um, and, yeah, and the huge one just pretty much wipes out the, the little ones. Kind of jacked up if you ask me. I mean, really, they're your friends, so you. Oh, it doesn't make any sense though, because they are his friends. Yet they still just destroy him, and they do, and you know, and oh, it doesn't make any sense, because like really. Well, well, actually, this kind of makes sense because he was kind of because well, okay, because this big thing didn't have anything else to move to, so I guess it's okay. And we will, and we are gonna get a fire flower, and we're gonna go to the, we're gonna go to the place, the boss, the boss, pretty easy boss, just shooting with a bunch of fire, just, just shooting, no, just shooting with, with, with a bunch of fire balls, and he's dead. Anyway, yes, we got through the halfway castle, and the next part we're gonna go, we're gonna get through the whole entire castle. So I, so I'm giving pimp, and I'm going to see you guys later. I'll see you guys later. The next part, oh, he just never gives up, does he? Give up! Give up! Nope, doesn't give up. Anyway, uh, anyway, guys, in the next part, we're gonna go. We're gonna get to the, the castle and finish this world once and for all, and go to my favorite world, World Six. World Six is my most favorite world. Anyway, I'll get. I'll see you guys later. Bye.